kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, this will be the part three of my video series on Firebase 2018 using Android Studio. All right, guys. So, uh, in this video series, uh, and in this video, we will be starting uh, our programming in Firebase. All right. So, first of all, uh, we will. Um, I will be creating five or six videos on uh, authentication part. Okay, let me show you. Let's open our project from there. And as you can see here, we have analytics, authentication, database, storage, hosting, cloud functions, test lab, crash analytics, notifications, remote config. Okay, we will uh, talk about all of these. All right. So first of all, I will uh, be working on authentication. Okay, so I will be teaching you all the parts of authentication. Uh, the authentication we can do with the uh, with email and password, with Gmail account, with the Facebook, and also with the with the phone number OTP. Okay, so uh, let's begin. So first of all, to begin with authentication, let's go down to your uh, Android Studio and check if you have. Okay, so here we have uh, Firebase core dependency. So see, so let's see if it works. Let's say Firebase auth. Okay, as you can see, uh, we need to. Uh, we need to import all the libraries for uh, firebase so let's go down there and let's click on get started and in our authentication part first of all let's set up the sign in method okay there we will enable first of all the phone okay okay let's go down first of all email and password okay and click on save all right so let's now go to here and say firebase dependencies okay so here we will uh, copy the dependencies from there you can see there are a lot of dependencies okay here you can see analytics uh, this is for analytics uh, database file storage storage crash reporting all right so first of all we will copy the authentication okay we just need that authentication so go to build and paste it here file show the same this one uh, the firebase core as 11.8.0 so you need to use the same one so you we need we will change that now you need to click on no and now the gradle will compile so in authentication part there is a there is a class named firebase auth okay this is the main class for authentication it handles with the uh, with, with this object or you can say with this class we can uh, create a username and password and also we can uh, sign out the user also we can find the properties of the locked in user all right if you don't know what i am saying i will explain to you okay so first of all let design our uh, interface so for that design i mean so go to text view and here from there we need to select the edit text all right this will be the uh, username or you can say email and next edit text will be password all right so let's change that I, instead of hint text let's change to hint and there you can say email Enter email and, and instead of input type text email address all right and now we also need to change the 
the password field so we can say enter okay so let's not do that let's remove that okay so let's first of all uh, select two buttons for sign up and sign in all right so we will now change the button background to color primary and this one also background color to give a good look and text color similarly text color okay so let's change that to login and let's change that to sign up okay so first of all let's create the two activities so let's go down and click on activity and click on empty activity okay and there we can say login activity and let also create another activity for uh, registration register activity so first of all we will design the log so let's do relative layout and let's also change the register activity to relative layout so let's first of all go to our main activity and let's create two methods register uh, open register And we will just try to that I will show you intent this and which are activity dot class start activity and we will change it to I and also we will just copy that login activity all right and so now we can uh, just uh, now design our register activity so now we can have to edit text here all right so let's first of all let's change that to text email address and let's change the hint uh, text to hint and now we can enter email and also let's change that to all right and let's design the button here let's drag the button and let's say it to register all right all right so now whenever the user clicks on register okay so we will create the user using a uh, authentication so let's go down to register activity all right let's first of all initialize our edit text e1 e2 e1 is for email e2 is for password so let's see let's go to 
this is edit text and edit text 2 equals to edit text final body you don't edit text to all right so now we have these two edit text so now well first of all what we need to do is we need to use the firebase out okay and we will just say out all right so the next step is we need to initialize this uh, out out okay so we can say out equals to firebase out dot get instance all right this is the way of initializing our firebase out okay so now what we need to create the user okay so let's create a method for button click public void create user and now first of all we need to check if e1 dot get text dot to string dot equals empty and e2 dot get text dot to string dot equals empty just need to print the message uh blank not allowed all right and in our else part we need to now register the user so for that we can say okay so let's first of all create the pro uh, progress dialog so we can okay so I, it will only uh, cause you confusion and problem so let's not do that let's be simple okay so here we can say alt dot create user with email and password okay it's very simple all you need to do is first of all just initialize your uh, out and after initializing your out through that you just need to say out dot create user with email and password okay in here you need to first of all pass the email and password so let's say here uh, string email equals to e1 dot get text dot to string and similarly string password equals to e2 dot get text dot to string all right and in here now we need to pass email and password all right you you see it's just as simple as uh, you can think of all right so this is the way of creating the user so now we need to check if the user is successfully uh, created or not here let me show you let's go to our authentication part okay so here we need to check if the user is successfully logged in or not if the uh, uh, sorry created or or not so for that we need to use listeners okay as you know uh, button click listener double click listener okay so this is the way of so what you need to do is go here press enter and write dot add on complete listener okay just click enter new on complete listener just press enter all right so this is the way of listening for the event so here we have this task object okay so we will just check if task is successful okay so we can say that toast.make text get application context user created successfully all right and if there is an any problem or there is the user could the user could not be created so you can print the message user could not be created all right this is as simple as it is so we will just try it here on click method so we can say on click there is uh yes create user all right let's see the manifest file okay so let's uh, run our application i want to show you that this is working 
if you have any query or any uh, doubt you can always comment down i will answer all of you Okay, I forgot to have the on click method here. So we say on click open login and on click open register. All right, let's open the side sync app. All right, so now it's connected. Let's run our application. Okay, so now let's see the output here okay so we will click on sign up okay and here let's enter an email let's say loan at gmail.com and let's say password is one two three four five six all right now we will click on register so you can see user created successfully okay so if we go back here and click on refresh here you go so now you can see we have this user created with the unique user id okay so every uh, user uh, which is uh, authenticated using this okay they will have a unique user id okay guys uh, let's now uh, now we need to work on login part okay so we will be working on the login part in our next video all right guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye successfully okay so if we go back here and click on refresh here you go so now you can see we have this user created with the unique user id okay so every uh, user uh, which is uh, authenticated using this okay they will have a unique user id okay guys uh let's now uh now we need to work on login part okay so we will be working on the login part in our next video all right guys so if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye